Hello, Columbus City School students and families. Today, I am here with students Cara Moore, a senior from Columbus Downtown High School, and Mia Stevens, a junior at Eastmore Academy, to talk about a topic that continues to hit close to home for all of us, school safety. The safety of our schools is a topic our communities have heard me stress a number of times in the past few weeks, and it's something that continues to be a priority in Columbus City Schools. Speaking of my classmates and peers across the district, we have recognized the work that has gone into allowing us to return to the school in the midst of everything that we have experienced since the start of 2020. Agreed. The time we've spent in high school has been very neat compared to some of the graduating classes that have came before us. I'm glad that we've been able to get our focus and attention back on the classroom and everything that comes along with in-person learning. But these last few weeks have seen an increase in threats of violence against schools posted on social media. You both already know and understand, but I want our entire CCS family to know that these type of distractions have no place in our district. Threats of mass violence or any kind of violence are violations of district policy and can come with serious consequences like expulsion. There's literally nothing funny about sending messages about bringing weapons to school to hurt your friends. We have all seen enough stories about real incidents happening at schools and the lives that were lost. Why would anyone want to make a joke about that? That's someone's trauma and now we're creating panic in our school communities. The Columbus Police Department has responded to several threats targeting our schools. And while we've been fortunate that none were substantiated, it has to stop. CPD has already initiated multiple investigations and filed several warrants for students making threats on social media, and we're going to continue to assist in their investigations. I like Instagram and Snapchat as much as the next person, but I don't want to open my DMs to a message trying to scare me away from school. There is already so many distractions in the world. Fake threats on social media should not be added to that list. You guys, let's make better choices with our time. Parents, I'm asking you to continue the conversation with your children about how their actions might affect other students, teachers, and staff and themselves. Please know that we'll continue to take any and all concerns very seriously, and we thank you in advance for your support and our Safer Together efforts.